All right, everyone, we just got one Nintendo Switch news story to cover today, but it is a massive one as it has to do with the next generation hardware plans from Nintendo's president himself, as there is a brand new interview that's just gone live and been translated. And there's some very interesting comments and a specific reason why whatever Nintendo is truly planning for the next generation hardware may be completely different than what we are expecting. What's up, nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Sunbro Nation by subscribing below. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now, as I mentioned, guys, we are just covering one massive story today. I was going to quickly mention Crunchyroll as well, as that app just surprise dropped. New media streaming app available on the Switch in the eShop, but I didn't have a ton to say about it, so I'm not going to do a whole new segment, but that's just a bonus news tidbit for you. And where is Netflix in the year of 2022 on the Switch? Nobody knows. We'll probably get it announced six or seven years after the Switch has been out. So, you know, the next couple of years, look for a surprise Netflix app announcement. But that is not what we're talking about today. We are talking about all things next generation Switch, as we have a very recent interview that just went live with Nikkei from President Shintaro Furukawa himself. And he was specifically asked about Nintendo's next generation hardware plans, which, of course, you can always expect some PR speak and generalized answers as Nintendo's not going to come out and say, oh, yeah, 24, 24, that's the year. We're going to do a more powerful switch. It's going to be called the switch Two. like they're not going to give us information like that, obviously, at this point. But there's some very interesting takeaways from this interview that could suggest that one of two things. We're either going to see a much longer life cycle than normal for the base switch, and we'll just kind of continue to get small incremental upgrades, which I'm almost leaning towards at this point. Or two, we are going to get a true successor that nobody was expecting and that goes in a new unique direction. And it might just not be a more powerful switch. Nintendo could be planning something entirely new. And clearly, as we are now in the fifth full year of the Switch being sold on the market, there's a lot of conversation around the Switch needing a more powerful hardware revision of some sort because you have to have the reality check that the PS5 and Series X are going to continue to have native games built for them, and Nintendo's going to have to completely be out of that conversation with their current level of hardware performance as the Tegra X1 was manufactured in 2015, then sold in the Switch in 2017, and and the hardware is just aging. Look at games like Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. That struggles to run things at a base level 30 frames per second. While there is some good news for the different tech that Nintendo can use, and we just talked about it on the channel yesterday with this whole AMD upscaling situation, and that may give us a little bit more life out of the current Switch chipset and actually being able to run at things like a solid 30 or 60 frames per second. But at some point in time, we will ultimately need new hardware. So to quickly kick off this conversation, just so we're all in the the same page let's hop over to vgc and read exactly what was said and then have a discussion around what this really could mean for whatever the next generation nintendo console could actually offer us in terms of functionality at the end of the day nintendo's president says switch successor will need to offer a new experience burakawa says the company is constantly researching technology Nintendo's president has discussed the company's approach to developing and launching new gaming hardware. Speaking with Nikkei Interview Paywall, Shintaro Furukawa said the successor to the Nintendo Switch must be able to offer consumers new forms of entertainment. Furukawa said that Nintendo doesn't have a specific time frame in mind for hardware development, rather it is constantly researching technology in a bid to create new experiences. The hardware and software development teams are in the same building communicating closely and thinking about how we can propose new forms of entertainment, he said. In order to create a single piece of hardware, we have to do a lot of preparation several years in advance, so we are working without stopping. In the end, it doesn't even matter. That's not what he said. That's Linkin Park lyrics. Forgive me, but I had to do that for some reason. The deciding factor in whether or not to commercialize a product is whether it can create a new experience. Switch launched in March 2017, and Nintendo hopes the console still has another four years on the market. We always say that the Switch is in the middle of its life cycle, and since one piece of hardware can be used to play both stationary and portable games, we can offer a wide variety of software for this purpose, Furukawa said. The life cycle can still be extended. So there's a lot to unpack in that interview. And the first thing I want to emphasize is there's been a lot of debate and discussion online when Nintendo says things in their investor meeting like, oh, the Switch is only halfway through its life cycle. So 2026 is actually now the year. But they've been saying that literally for the last two years straight. So it's like, how do we really know where their plans are at? And I think it's pretty clear that I think they're going to continue on the Switch train of success as long as the console continues to sell. And since they are looking at it as their first hybrid console where it is supporting both 
the portable games library and the home console docked library like it's the same thing at the end of the day they've effectively merged their 3ds handheld line and their home console line and they're looking at this system very differently than they have with previous ones and until the sales slow down for this thing it's not going to make a lot of sense for them to rush out new hardware that's just more powerful for no reason and then fragment their 100 plus million active user base or actually 98 million is active users is what they had last year but the switch has sold over 100 million units like the nintendo has big time money opportunities on their hand and they're not going to screw it up by just fragmenting the user base not making it backwards compatible having all the new games like breath of the wild 2 metroid prime 4 all that stuff just come out as a next gen exclusive it's not time for them to do that yet and that's pretty much what they're communicating here in my opinion it's also very interesting to think about a new technology experience is what they are focusing on delivering before doing something like a true next-gen hardware release so what does this mean at the end of the day well you can interpret it in multiple different ways if I'm a betting man I think that the switch has maybe a longer life cycle than we are expecting we get something maybe like a switch Lite OLED model next and then maybe we do see in 2024 at some point a somewhat more powerful version of the switch that still remains cross compatible with all the games and in the meantime Nintendo is working on a 2025 or 2026 launch for something entirely new which could be a number of different things I don't want to see them go in a heavy VR direction but I can see Nintendo dabbling into that world as they like to be the leader of the charge on different types of technology just like they were with the Nintendo Wii and motion control but while that's not exactly what I'm saying is going to be the next gen switch it may support things like VR as clearly the upcoming generation of gamers love it and it's something that has a lot of upside it's just not something that I'm ready to fully transition to at this point I still like to have my controller and sit down and look at a TV but that's just me and I do think there are quality VR experiences to have the thing that I really would love to see Nintendo do with their true next generation is something similar to what we saw with the 3DS and the Wii U in terms of gameplay where you have something that is like a touch screen as a controller option and you can get so creative with the different type of gameplay styles that that form factor supports like imagine having something maybe a little bit smaller than the switch screen maybe more akin to the switch Lite, but something that you can hold in your hand that is roughly a five or six inch screen that you can look down and interact with hopefully an OLED display that's very touch responsive but then that's just your controller and you still have a dockable system that you are running 4k games off of and you know if when I went back and played Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD recently for videos on the channel it just stuck out to me how great of an idea the Wii U gamepad is when I wanted to look down and see what direction Link was going to be taking in the dungeon I had a live dungeon map and live inventory management right beneath it in my hands and I definitely think that the Wii U was a stepping stone to just get to that technology level that they achieved with the switch and I'm just curious to see where they take it from here but regardless of when you think the next generation switch is coming out I think it's pretty safe to say that it is going to be something that none of us expected and we may be in for a longer ride on the current switch's life cycle than any of us were originally anticipating which I am all here for because imagine the library of games that will be available on one console at the end of something like 2025 or 2026 like it's going to be an insane library and probably regarded as one of the best if not the best in Nintendo's history but at this point in the video guys I really want to hear from you on all your personal thoughts and speculation on what this means around President Shintaro Furukawa's comments do you think we're in for a much longer ride on the switch with smaller more powerful revisions along the way or do you think that Nintendo is just saying this and that they will actually come out with a full-on switch to sooner rather than later something like a 2023 or 2024 so please make sure you share all your personal thoughts and opinions regardless of where you land on this issue in the comments down below before you leave the video as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic Make sure you check out yesterday's video where we discuss the 3DS and Wii U eShop shutdown situation and also a very interesting tech discovery that could actually help current and future Switch games run better on the hardware. Also make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your bell notification icon, and I will see you guys in the next video.